In this video, we're going to talk about what domain and range are and how you can identify the domain and range when you're given a graph. So the domain is the set of all of the x values. When you're given a graph, you're looking at the x-axis. You're looking at how far does that graph stretch out to the left and right as the x-axis does. Um, if you're given an equation, it's all those different x values that you can put into the equation or the function and get an answer, get a y value. The range is the set of all those y values, all those answers when you put x values into that equation or function. When you're looking at a graph, it's how far does that graph stretch up and down, which is the y-axis. So let's look at a few examples. Here we're looking at um, a graph that goes to the right and left, up and down. Um, and what I like to do is to um, kind of create a picture frame. So let me show you what I mean. So I've kind of engulfed that whole or that whole graph in this picture frame. So the domain is the right and left of the picture frame. It's how far does this picture go to the right and to the left? What are the right and left borders of our graph? So it goes all the way from negative five to four. It stretches from negative five to four. The x values are in between negative 5 and 4. So I'm just going to put less than or equal signs there, and I'm saying x is scrunched in between negative 5 and 4. And then the y values represent the range. Where is the graph going up and down? So what is the lowest point? It goes all the way down to negative 4, and it stretches all the way up to nine. So the y values are in between negative four and nine. So I'm gonna put my less than or equal signs there saying y is scrunched in between negative four and nine. Let's look at another one. All right, given this graph, again, let's kind of create that picture frame around this picture. All right, let's talk about it. The domain is where is the graph left to right. It's talking about the x values. So this whole graph, if I look at it from the left to the right, it goes from negative 6 all the way to positive 6. So the x is in between negative 6 and positive 6. So I'm going to put my less than or equal signs here. x is scrunched in between negative 6 and positive 6. The range, remember, is the y values. Where is the graph going up and down? It stretches all the way down to negative eight and goes all the way up to nine. So the y is scrunched in between negative eight and nine. Now this one has some arrows at the end of our line, so we can't make a picture frame. We can't capture this whole graph in the picture frame because we're just seeing part of the graph here, but because those arrows are at the end, we know that if we keep zooming out, then this graph is gonna continue to go down, 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 and continue to stretch out to the right and left. So when we think about how far this is gonna stretch out to the right and the left, it's gonna go all the way to negative infinity because it's gonna keep on going, stretching, inching to the left, out further and further and further, all the way to negative infinity. And the same for the right. It's gonna go further and further and further to the right, all the way to positive infinity. So x is scrunched in between negative infinity and positive infinity. Now let's look at the range. How far down does this graph go? So again, we have arrows at the bottom of these lines. So we know it's gonna go all the way down to negative infinity. It's gonna keep on inching down. So the lowest it goes is to negative infinity, but it goes up, it does have a stopping point here. How high does it go? It's one, two, three, four. It goes all the way up to four. So y is scrunched in between negative infinity and four. Let's do one more. 
this one. So if we look at the domain, we see that this is kind of a squiggly line here. Um, and we can kind of imagine because there's an arrow that this is gonna keep on going up and down and up and down and up and down forever to the right and up and down, up and down, up and down forever to the left. So the domain is from negative infinity to positive infinity. But the range is where does this graph go up and down? It does have a stopping point. It's not going down below this line and it's not gonna go above this line. The whole graph is in between those two red lines when you look at it going up and down. So it goes down to negative three and it goes up to positive two. So the y-coordinates are scrunched in between negative 3 and 2.